The Prisoner of Zenda by Anthony Hope. Book Review. So, this is a classic Victorian era adventure story, first published in 1894. I actually had a copy of this book as a child. Uh, my mother noticed that I liked adventure stories, so she gave this to me. She said, I think you would really like this. It's a classic. And then I never read it. I don't know. I, I do like adventure stories, but something about classic books just intimidates me. And, you know, it, it was from the 1800s, 1894, and I thought it's going to be really boring and stiff and dry. So I never read it as a child. Uh, I just got around to it because I was reading Royal Flash, which uh, I've reviewed in a previous video. Royal Flash is a parody of The Prisoner of Zenda. So I thought, okay, well, this is the perfect time to finally buckle down and read Prisoner of Zenda. And you know what? This book was so easy to read and such a pleasure that I don't know why I didn't read it years ago. Uh, you, you know, do you ever have these books, like these classic books that you keep putting off and then you finally pick them up and you're like, well, why was I putting that off? That was so fun to read. I, I don't know why I didn't get around to it years ago. This is one of those books and it's so short. Um, my copy was only 152 pages. I, I finished it in a couple afternoons. It's a classic adventure story. Uh, imaginary kingdoms, treacherous dukes, beautiful princesses, and swashbuckling. I, I feel like I'm almost legally obliged to say swashbuckling when talking about this book because I swear every description I've ever read about this book mentions swashbuckling. Uh, I had the Penguin Classics edition, which I got out of the library, uh, and they really go overboard here. Uh, the publisher's introduction, they say swashbuckling at least once on every page. Uh, some pages, they even have swashbuckling mentioned multiple times on the same page. Uh, what does swashbuckling even mean? I, I think it means like sword fights. And there, there are some sword fights in this novel, so fair enough. You get some swashbuckling and sword fights. Uh, the book does have its flaws. Some of the sections about honor and duty did get a little bit preachy and a little bit tedious. Uh, and the love story seemed a little bit forced. Uh, I wasn't quite sure why these characters were falling in love with each other, other than that the plot just dictated it. And it did get a bit overly sentimental in some places. Um, but then on the other hand, it's only 152 pages. So you, you can't really complain about anything. Uh, nothing lasts too long for it to get too annoying. The story moves quickly enough and then the book is over before you know it. So, if you're looking to knock another classic off of the list, uh, become better well-read and brag about how many classic books you've read at parties. This is an easy one to knock off and, and is fun.